Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Okay, account created. It is 1445. I'm going to make my way to... Well, I was going to make my way to the hospital, but uh, I have to unlock it first. Thankfully, City Hall is along the way. Let's go ahead and real quick unlock the hospital. Like so. And now, let's do the thing. This is time consuming, I know, but let's see how this goes. Sure enough, we arrive here dressed in the lab coat and we have to help out Mit Ruziak. By the way, it occurs to me, this scene has different music. As far as I'm aware, it's the only scene that has different music. I'm kind of surprised that there aren't other scenes in the game that have different music. Instead, it's always the music of the day. Okay, so... What I did before is use the scope to locate... the problem which is in a different location this time so it's a good thing that I checked because last time it was in the arm so it's in the neck that's actually even worse let's make a neck incision We'll remove the blockage. And there we go. 1835. So we have less than an hour and a half to get Milton home. We confess we're not a doctor, but this'll make us friends with Nurse Tad, and also allow us to send Beagler's body here. And also unlock the morgue. I am not sure offhand whether I need to talk to Dr. Cedric in order to be allowed to send Beekler's body to the morgue, but I will figure that out some other time. For now, let's go to meet Ruziak. Is you great to meet you? Uh, yeah, and it's you! How do I know you? Guys and lies you saved. Holy crap! Dad! That's Mit Ruziak, the movie star! Yeah, that's the reaction I expected the first time that Milton met Mit. Oh, that's right! I need to stop at the Gang and Toplex before this day ends. It's open until... what time again? 23 o'clock. It'll be too late to go there with Milton, but I'll do the usual thing. Put on the guest list. Wow! Can I come with you, Dad? Please! Gee, thanks, Mr. Ruziak. I'll have to check that out. Anytime! Mr. Ruziak became your friend. And let's get out of here. We'll find out whether Milton is friends with us in a bit. Oh, the pharmacy. Oh, I just realized something. I'm less than an hour away from becoming too hungry. And likewise, several hours away from becoming too tired. So I don't have time to... Oh, I can buy a snack from the vending machine doesn't cost much that would solve the hunger issue but let's go out here and save and how long do I have to drive here 40 minutes I would get there at 1945 and then five minutes to get to Squidley's house possibly an extra five just to knock on the door 
Honestly, as long as I'm going to Squidly's home anyway, we can grab it a bite to eat in here. Oh, hey! Meeting Mitt Rizziak has made Milton a little ha happier. Squidly, hi. I'm here to drop, a mil drop off Milton, or am I? So, I already became acquaintances with Mona, dropping him off the first day. So, I don't need to worry about that today. Let's go ahead and go on in. Can I go in? Sure, I guess. And here's what I'm going to do. We're going to Milton's room. And let's play with the toys. Armgo bricks. I used to have these as a kid. Want to play together? Do I? Let's go for it. Hurry! How many hours pass? Let's do it again. Okay, Milton, you've been gallivanting with your father long enough. It's time to get ready for bed. Aw, I don't want to. Don't worry, son. I'll see you again tomorrow. Friendship. And we're being kicked out of the house. Drat. Alright, never mind then. It's, it's Quinley. It's getting late. I'm going to bed. Can you back another time? Yeah. As soon as I reload my save. I want to do the thing where I talk to Milton after playing toys with him, but I don't have enough time to do that. Unless I can do that without playing with his toys. Let's go ahead and drop him off. That's where today, see you, Milton. Okay, that was kind of fun. Acquaintance. And... No, we do in have do in fact have to play with the toys. It's not just something based on happiness. So let's not even waste time going to Milton's room. We'll just drop him off up front. But I still do want to go inside. How was their day? It was okay, I guess. Only okay, eh? That's progress! And then we'll go inside. And we're immediately allowed in. Let's go to the kitchen. And I'm gonna do two things while I'm in, I, I am in here. First, talk to Mona. And about our breakup. Sorry for not making time for you. And Milton was a terrible husband. And that's going to improve our standing with Mona. Or at least, it did on the first run. There's probably a happiness scale, and it's not a straight level-by-level level thing. So, probably in better standings than I was by saying that. And the next good thing I do will be the level up that I was just now trying to work toward. For now, let's go ahead and eat. Ooh, lentils. I'm not really sure what they are, but they're magically delicious. No, that is Lucky Charms. By the way, if you want a better Lucky Charms, go with Malto Meals Marshmallow Mateys. Seriously, I think the Malto Meal version is better. Also, you get a whole lot more in a bag than you do Lucky Charms, and it's not that expensive. So, if you're going to have cereal for supper, go with Malto Meal. Alright, check under the sink. I almost forgot about this. I don't know if it's important, but... It might be. And I'm not really sure what to do next. I do want to change into Dex Beagler's uniform. 
I also need to go to the shed to fix the lawnmower and mow the lawn, but, uh, not tonight. Anyway, back to the uniform. Do I want to wear the uniform right now? Or am I going to want to still be dressed in the lab outfit? Or heck, maybe a different outfit. I haven't gotten the outfit from Milton's closet yet, by the way. Not really sure if I need that for anything. I mean, I'm sure I do, but I wouldn't know what. So I'm not going to worry about grabbing that just yet. I have an hour or two before I have to worry about getting too tired, though. So I want to try to accomplish something here before going to sleep. Because I'm going to have to do that. I, I gotta say... I am starting to feel the pressures of this run. I mean, the first run was a pretty casual run, but I still managed to learn a whole lot during that run. I'm betting that I actually might have been able to beat the game on the first try had I not put off going to certain locations like the bank and the research lab. But now, I really want to make sure that I don't fail again. It doesn't help that I have yet to figure out how to get into the space station. I don't know, maybe I can now that I know about LinkedIn Vortex getting into a fight with DJ Bo Beagler? Do I have time to go there right there now? I'm gonna become exhausted sometime after 23 o'clock. Speaking of 23 o'clock, that's actually when the Gigan Toplex closes. Let's go ahead and watch the next movie. Once again, I don't think we'll be making this a canon visit. I'll reload my save after the fact, but I want to at least get it on camera. DJ's here, but that's not going to be helpful. Welcome to Gun Toplex. How can I help you? Tell me about today's movie. What can you tell me about it? Today's movie is Marsman 2. It's a lot more kid friendly thanks to studio interference. Oh, I, I, I can get that. I'm immediately reminded of a couple of movies actually Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 and Ghostbusters 2. Both of which were. Yeah, made more kid-friendly. Was it to their detriment? Hmm... I don't know. I still think they're both good movies. John Marsman Marsman? Really? His, his last name is actually Marsman? And his nickname is... Just... Marsman with a space? is called out to of retirement once again to save the planet. Only this time, he has to work with a new partner, a cute little robot named Bleeper. Oh, so this would be the movie that he got introduced. The movie was a massive hit back when it came out, and Bleeper was the year's top-selling toy. Still, hardcore fans say it ruined the franchise. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 and Ghostbusters 2 ruined the franchises? Mmm... No... I'd say the cartoons had more to do with it, more to do with that. At least in the case of Ghostbusters. I mean, the Ghostbusters cartoon was good, but it's what brought in the kids, and thus facilitated the need for Ghostbusters 2 to be more kid-friendly. In the case of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first movie came out after the cartoon, and I think there was just par parent outcry for how not kid-friendly the first movie was. No way, Corporal! 
I got no problem coming out of retirement to save the planet all over again. But no way in hell am I working with a robot. You don't have a choice, Marsman, or whatever they're calling you. It's this or you go back to prison. If they weren't calling him Marsman, what would they be calling him? Also, back to prison? What happened in the first movie? Maybe he really was Rambo. Gosh dang it. Fine. But don't you forget, you electronic mm -hmm, we ain't friends. Bleep, bleep. Your prejudice is illogical, John, but understandable. No. Prejudice is not understandable. I hope that when all this is over, you will realize that we are on the same side. Here, here. Left Marsman. Bleeper! Shoot him! He's my evil twin br Oh, we got one of those subplots. He's my evil twin brother! I'm the real Marsman! He's been lying to you! Don't listen to him, Bleeper. I'm the real Mars man, and if I don't hit this button, the sun will explode. Bleep, bleep, insufficient data, decision impossible. Dang it, Bleeper, you worthless pile of trash. Just pull the ding trigger. Are you going to let him talk to you like that? This is how the robot learns who the correct one is, the real Mars man. It's the left one. Bleep, bleep. Analysis complete. Initiating destructive proto protocol. Zap. So we don't entirely get to find out how that ends, but, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the left one was the real one. So the robot zapped the one on the right. Interesting, by the way, that there was no screen of the evil twin scene. I mean, as far as I can tell, there's only one screen for all the movies, so that facilitated the need for a non-screen for the second scene in this case. It makes me wonder if any of the other movies are going to have a second scene. If so, maybe there should have been a an image for a second scene. If not, and most of them we only see one scene, then I guess for consistency it makes sense that we only see one scene. But it's just a little bit odd to have a second scene and not be able to actually look at it. Anyway, I want to find out if I can get into the space station now that I know about the confrontation with Lingdon and DJ. Of course, first I have to become acquaintances with this guy here, because otherwise he's just not willing to give me any info. And the answer is no. Going through the process, I cannot ask about Lingdon. And pretty sure that without a station pass, yeah, where in the holy gosh do we get a station pass? That's what I need. I mean, alternatively, maybe I could dress in that 800 currency corset and put on some make it, makeup. Maybe Stefan Vortex is a playboy and will welcome pretty ladies. Out of curiosity, am I able to wear the makeup that I got? Where is that? Nope, I cannot select it. So I can't just put it on. Now, I'm betting we're going to have to find that pass. But where would it be? Maybe in the bank? Maybe in addition to... The money that Beagler got for sabotaging the lab. He also has a deposit box holding the pass. 
Because I tell you what, the pass is not at Beagler's home. Well, going to the space station right now, not helpful. So, I'm going to undo that and try to follow some other lead. Maybe Dusty Borgulak is here now. 